May you I proceed raise before a you proceed, Prof. Franz, inquiry, Madam Chair? Before you proceed, um, I'd like to remind our members for orderly proceedings, please wait to be acknowledged yes, before you speak. So ngayon, sa ngayon po, dahil nauna po si Kong Franz, paunahin na muna natin siya. Um, so Kong Franz, yes. please proceed. And then I will recognize you after. Kakasunod, Madam. Eh. Medyo nauna lang po siya ng one diba, second po. Di ba ang ating uh, tradisyon, Unang minority, pagkatas majority. Ah, wala pa po tayo sa interpellation kong dante. Oo nga po, pero mas kina sa manifestation, dapat ganun din. Kong Marco Lera, you're now recognized. Salamat po, Madam Chair. Yung hindi po pagdating ng ating pangalawang Pangulo ngayon, ang suspecha ko po ay dahil sa nangyari ng mga pagtatanong nung nakaraang Pagdinig. I have heard the volume and the barrage of questions asked by members of this committee to the Vice President. Despite the fact, Madam Chair, I heard her several times saying, I forego the opportunity of defending the OBP budget for 2025 by question and answer, and I leave it to the House of Representatives to decide on such proposal as presented. That was the template of an answer given by the Office of the Vice President. Madam Chair, napilitan po akong mag ng parliamentary inquiry. I think I have earned this. If I survive my term up to next year, I would have survived also, or I have I would have completed 18 years in this institution. And in this length of time, I have observed a, a, a tradition. The tradition is the two highest positions of government, namely the office of the vice president and the office of the president, are not traditionally subjected to questions. I have observed this for a long time, for so long a time. May I refresh the memory of the members of this uh, committee, Madam Chair? In 2022, the minority leader, Honorable Libanon, citing courtesy to the office of the Vice President, Vice President took only about 13 minutes to move for determination of the budget of the Vice President. And after that, the majority leader seconded the motion. That was 2022, Madam Chair. Then 2023, no less than the presidential son, our own senior deputy majority leader, the Honorable Sandro Marcos stood up and invoked the long honored tradition of according courtesy to the OBP, the Office of the Vice President. And in the same manner, he moved for determination of the office of the budget, the consideration of the budget of the office of the president, vice president. I also recall, Madam Chair, that it was terminated. And with the full consternation of Honorable Franz Castro, who then objected, but her objections were never heard until she she moved to, to make up record by way of manifestation, her objection. But the committee collectively said, you can no longer do that because there was already a termination of the hearing. This is the time-honored tradition, Madam Chair. For so long a time, we have kept and observed this. We have upheld this tradition. My question is, is this committee authorized to set aside or discard the tradition? That is the question. Your Honor, such motion was not introduced in the last hearing. I'm now introducing the motion, Madam Chair. I second, Madam Chair. To terminate the consideration of the budget of the, press, of the, of the Vice President, Madam Chair. On the basis of the long and time-honored tradition, Madam Chair, in order for us to respect a tradition in the same manner 
that we have respected the tradition here that the first to interpolate every time is the member of the minority. That is the tradition. We have not yet discarded that. We are observing that because we are honorable members of this Congress. So the question is, why, we have, why have we discarded that tradition? Is this committee authorized to set aside the tradition? If we are not able to do that, Madam Chair, then I honorably, respectfully now, move to terminate consideration of the budget of the office of the Vice President, and I so move. Second, Madam, Madam Chair. Chair. Thank you. So, um, the Honorable Margareta, please repeat your inquiry. Yes. Uh, in, in connection to the earlier parliamentary inquiry, Madam Chair, I have already related the value of tradition. Parliamentary procedures, Madam Chair, grow from or are enriched by traditions, experiences, and precedents collectively gathered by the House of Representatives over years, and the institution keeps them well. That is why from my entry in 2004 or the 13th Congress until today, I have observed the observance of that well-kept tradition. The two highest positions in government, namely the office of the president and the office of the vice president, were duly accorded with respect and deference. I have observed that. That's why I have relayed to you earlier in 2022, the Honorable Libanon, invoking courtesy, took him only 13 minutes to dispose the office of the Vice President. And that was quickly moved, quickly seconded by no less than our majority leader. That was in 2022. I'm not going by record, Madam Chair. 2023, I said, no less than the presidential son. Our own senior deputy majority leader stood up and said that in line with the time-honored tradition of according courtesy to the office of the vice president, I move to terminate the budget briefing of the OBP. And I can recall the Honorable Castro strongly objected. No, Manuel. No, 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 that's in 2023. This is by the record. And she objected, but her objections were rejected by the committee because the committee already terminated the proceedings. And she kept on requesting, Madam Chair, that she makes at least her manifestation. And she was unable to do that because the proceedings were terminated. So that what I am saying from 2004, when I entered these halls, these hallowed halls, Ang gampundo sa sinasabi kong 2023, we have kept the tradition. Ngayon po, kung ano-ano nang mga tanong ang ginawa. In 2023, 22, 22 minutes. 2022, 13 minutes. Ito po, pinagawa yan na po yung budget earlier. At ngayon, we are about to quarrel again on the budget. Ang tanong ko nga po ngayon, Dahil nga po sa nangyayari ngayon sa budget ng Office of the Vice President and despite her manifestation that she will no longer defend her budget because she for, she for gold or she for go, uh, sabi niya, I will forgo my opportunity to defend the budget of the OBP for 2025 by way of question and answer and I will leave to the House of Representatives to decide such proposal as presented. We cannot even accept such kind of answer, Madam Chair. What do we need her to articulate for? So ang pinag-uusapan po natin, wala na po ba yung respeto sa tradisyon na yun? Kagaya po ng binabanggit ko, every time mag interpolate po dito, Madam Chair, because of that tradition, it's always the member of the minority who will start the interpolation, because we have kept that tradition. Andami po. Andami ko pang sasabihin sa inyo, mahaba lang tayo. 
So the question is, when we did that to the Vice President earlier, now we're doing it now, are we now setting aside this tradition? That's the number one question. Number two, is this committee authorized to set aside the tradition? Your Honor, short answer is no to both questions. Okay. If that is the answer, Madam Chair, and we are all bound to respect one tradition so sacred in our hearts, because we are called honorables in this, in this house. We cannot be honorables if we cannot honor our own tradition. We are defined by what we believe as a tradition in this house. So if we are now all amenable that we have kept that tradition, no longer questions are being asked, then I will respectfully move, Madam Chair, to move to terminate the budget of the OBP for 2025. I object, Madam Thank Chair. Thank you. I object. <laughs> Madam Chair, if there's a motion to terminate the budget briefing of the OVP, but there is an objection, so we divide the House. The chair has decided to divide the House. So those uh, Madam Chair, in favor as a, of the motion, as a rule, we usually deliberate those, before we those vote. Those in favor we of the motion, we rule first the motion, please raise your hand. Those in favor of the motion to terminate the budget briefing of the OVP, please raise your hand. One, two, three. Three votes. All those against. Those who are not in favor of terminating, raise your hand. For non tradition! <laughs> okay. Three in favor, forty five against. Three in favor, forty five against. Motion is. <coughs> The motion is lost. Is lost. lost. I, I, Madam Chair, I thought we have kept the tradition. The tradition is no longer ask any question. That was the tradition. So why are you voting against it? the motion? Next. The majority of the it, will it's, is it's, always respected. It's inconsistent the the with the tradition that we have already agreed yeah. to observe. So we will yes, proceed Madam Chair, to the uh, next. You mentioned earlier that we will keep up the tradition. You said no. Earlier, For no. We voted against. I remind the members to please.